the royals spoke out an event called We Day Movement, a charity that brought over 200,000 young people together in 17 cities across the United States, Canada, the UK, and the Caribbean to empower them. Princess Beatrice, 29, said, There will be too many moments on this stage today where you will hear stories of bullying. I don't believe that there are many things in life that can make you feel more vulnerable, more helpless, more alone, than being bullied. It comes in many, many forms. We've all suffered our fair share along the way. Growing up in the public eye means that every embarrassing, slightly AWKD growth spurt or hilarious fashion moment are published around the world. Together, we have laughed. Together, we have cried, she said, looking at her sister. Ultimately though, together we feel each other's sense of humor. Princess Beatrice may have been referring to an embarrassing incident at the 2011 wedding of Prince William and Kate Middleton when she wore a taupe headpiece that was deemed ludicrous and sparked a Facebook group named Princess Beatrice's Ridiculous Hat. Beatrice added, when stones are being thrown, we reassure each other that people don't often understand how hurtful they can be, especially in the world we live in today. Princess Eugenie added, the world is full of incredible, caring human beings, millions and millions of them, people who strive to provide a loving, nurturing environment, for not only those close to them, but for their communities and the wider world. This stage has witnessed many of their stories, remind yourself of them, the next time you feel you are surrounded by people who try to undervalue or undermine you. Remind yourself, you are one of the great ones, in fact the best ones, the daughters of Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, 58, and Sarah, the Duchess of York, 58, attended the event to inspire young people. Beatrice and Eugenie, who are 7th and 8th in line to the throne respectively, use their own lives as an example of how difficult it can be to be scrutinized in the press and by the public. Much of their lives have been marred by controversy after their mum, Fergie went through a series of embarrassing moments after joining the royal family as Prince Andrew's bride in 1986. Fergie was seen as a breath of fresh air, fun but lacking grace, unlike Diana, when she burst into the royal family. But she paved the way for her exit from the royals in 1992 with a very public scandal scandal. In 1992 photographs emerged of the Duchess sunbathing topless and appearing to have her toes sucked by her former financial advisor. The Duke and Duchess of York announced their separation that same year. Princess Beatrice's appearance with her sister marked her first event with Eugenie, since she announced her engagement to Jack Brooks Bank. Eugenie announced in January that she would wed her boyfriend, Jack Brooks Bank, this autumn, and Fergie was quickly criticized for her over-the-top tweets of total joy at their union. The Duchess penned a note, signed from Mumsy and Sarah's, and praised the couple for their kindness, love and goodness and beautiful manners. Princess Eugenie told the crowd at We Day, as young working women in the public eye, we've had to learn some lessons the hard way. In many ways, we are grateful for that, in hindsight naturally. It taught us to be strong, to value those around us, who love us, and who support us unconditionally. The sisters described how they try to celebrate the positive and not be afraid to challenge. The negative Princess Eugenie then heaped praise on her big sister for inspiring her and supporting her through a major illness. She said, I love that, as a team, we work hard to support each other. When I was 12, I was diagnosed with, and treated for scoliosis, and I have lived with two 12-inch metal rods in my back, it could have impacted my life, and stopped me from doing the things I loved, but you encouraged me not to get disheartened, not to give up, to live fearlessly, today I'm so lucky, to get to work with and support other young women who are going through the same thing. To encourage them to not let their diagnosis win, and to live fearlessly too. So our first lesson is never give up, Eugenie is now patron of the Royal National Orthopedic Hospital. The Royal, who graduated from Newcastle University after studying English and History of Art, is now as a director at the Contemporary Art Gallery House Aworth in London. The Royal said their final lesson was one they had benefited from the most and that was you don't have to face anything alone.